be one of the leading universities in South Africa and even the world. It's home to four Nobel Prize winners, including Nelson Mandela. This is our tour guide and also professor here, uh, Miss Yao from China. Uh, she's been living here for almost 10 years. Revolutionary Studies Institute of the University that has the world's largest fossil collection. Hi, there he is. Hi, Hi. Bernard. Dr. Bernard. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome. On this side, uh, these are primarily casts, in other words, copies of hominin fossils from elsewhere in the world. Mm -hmm. Because obviously, it's very important that we're able to compare those to the real fossils. This is the original. Not that many people get to see the real one. It was discovered in 1924. And this was then the very first early hominin discovered. But unfortunately, at the time, the rest of the world didn't recognize it as such because um, the colonial world mm -hmm. believed Africa to be the dark continent and mm -hmm. believed that we couldn't have originated in Africa. Okay. So it, it's not just the scientific value of the specimen, there's also a political uh, okay. value to that. There's only about eight complete yeah. hominin skeletons in the world. This is one of them. Mm 